Uh, before I do this week's pickup video, I wanted to do a couple of quick shout outs. Um, quick shout out to uh, my cousin, cousin Jermaine and cousin Daryl. You'll see why later on why I gave them a shout out. And a uh, shout out to my wife, she's dope. She picks up video games for me when she goes out shopping, so thanks honey. Uh, basically this weekend Lester hit a milestone of the CD collection. Lester's been collecting CDs since like grade 7, since I've met him. Saving up money and buying like, I remember us going on trips to Future Shop. Picking up copies of Tupac and Easy e with our lunch money. This weekend while I was helping him get to 900 CDs, I picked up a lot of stuff. Which I really didn't mean to. So here's a quick look at everything I got on the weekend. This was part of Lester's 900th CD pickup video that we just made. Um, I had kind of a side quest of video games, but that's always what I go hunting for. So yeah, that's everything. Let's take a quick look at it. Now, first thing I picked up actually was on Thursday. I was at Valley Village. I picked up a copy of Spin Jam for the PlayStation. Uh, it was two bucks. It's a puzzle game. I haven't played it before, but I like puzzle games. There you go. It's complete. Yeah, it just looks cool. Like there's anime characters on it and stuff like that. So if you've played it, let me know. So this Friday was actually the official day that we started Lester's 900th CD pickup weekend. <laughs> and um, first place we went to was Salvation Army. And it was kind of bittersweet. We thought we found some cool stuff, but we really didn't. First thing we thought we found was a copy of Street Fighter Alpha 3. Which is really cool because it's like Lester's favorite Street Fighter game and one of my personal favorites. Be upset. I love Street Fighter Alpha. <laughs> it's like the best Street Fighter. Personally, I like Street Fighter Turbo, too, for the Super Nintendo. That was my favorite incarnation of it. Next to the arcade, of course. But this one had a missing disc. Like I said, someone keeps stealing CDs out of our thrift store. So they gave me this one for free. This game, Unjammer Lammy. It's actually one of Lester's personal favorites. Uh, same people who made Parappa the Rapper. Somebody put a burnt uh, Gundam CD in there. So they gave us that for free. So basically, if you... If you have these loose or you need these in cases, maybe we could work out a trade, let me know. I really want that Street Fighter 3 though, if you have it, hook it up, man. And, found Mega Man Legends, but on the inside was, there you go, Marvel Super Heroes. I'd much rather have that than Mega Man uh, Legends. Mega Man Legends, I think, was like the 3D incarnation of Mega Man, with some like RPG elements to it. Never worked. If you have Marvel Super Heroes uh, case, that would be cool. We could work out a trade for that too. So those are up for trades or available for trades. I don't know how that works out. Uh, quick shout out to Lester, my thrift dwelling buddy. He got rid of his Xbox 360 and he wanted me to have this game. Uh, Soul Calibur 4, obviously for the 360. Features Yoda, which is dope. If anyone wants to donate to the Lester PS3 fund. Oh, next thing we hit up was the Valley Village on Friday as well. I found a working Game Boy for five bucks. Funny, when I was buying this, some drunk guy kept bumping into me. I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to tease him. We're not like that. But I was trying to explain to everyone how to check if your uh, Game Boy works when you find it. Test it out, you change the contrast until it's all black. And you wait to see if there's any pixels or any lines down the screen. And this one doesn't. Oh, okay. So I'm just documenting oh, myself. Oh, uh, oh, geez. Geez. So, like I said, my wife is awesome because she went garage sailing on Saturday. And she actually picked up a couple things for me, which is really awesome of her. She got this whole bundle here for 12 bucks, I think, or 13 bucks. sorry. She got this bundle for 13 bucks. She actually haggled the guy down, so honey, I'm proud of you. This one, basically, Atari Anthology for the PS2. A collection of 85 Atari games. It's complete with the manual. And it's kind of nice. You don't actually have to go pick up the uh, Atari and hook it up to the TV. Next thing she picked up for me was a copy of Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects. Like a co-op uh, superhero game, two bucks, complete in box, which is great. Always love it when it has the manuals, I'm a sucker for that. Uh, this one, she actually haggled the guy down to five bucks for it. It is Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Again, complete, which I am a sucker for. And it looks like the guy never played it. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, things about this game, but yeah. And basically she got this, uh, haggled him down to five bucks on this one. Mortal Kombat Armageddon, the deluxe edition. Comes in like a nice metal tin. Actually has a second disc which plays like uh, the history of fatalities and um, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Ooh. Actually came with like a cool little cell here. Goro and Johnny Cage. 
these. I uh, picked up a couple games from Value Village Garden City. There you go. All these were 30% off. Actually, this one, I didn't know what it was at first. It looked like just a book of San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto. But it's actually for the computer. It's a city guide. comes with a bunch of maps and a bunch of how-tos and stuff. Also, that day, I picked up a copy of The Warriors by Rockstar. $5.99 minus 30% off. Like I say, I'm a sucker for when it has like the manual and it looks super clean. Rockstar games are always dope too. <laughs> I love when I find these things. Like someone put their cheat codes in here. Also happy to have a copy of Jack 2. This one's by Naughty Dog. It's complete in the box. It was six bucks minus 30% off. I just remember this being like a fun game. So I'm happy to try that out, see how that goes. And I was able to complete my greatest hits God of War collection for the PlayStation 2. Six bucks minus 30% off. It was complete. So actually, I actually haven't played this one. I have it... Oh, wow. I actually have a factory sealed edition of God of War 2. So there you go. Also got a copy of uh, Superman Doomsday. Love comic book stuff. This was two bucks. Well, I guess it's complete in box. It's not a video game, but whatever. Uh, Saturday, same day, we went to the Salvation Army in Garden City. Sorry. Sim City 2000 special edition. It's still factory sealed. I know this isn't worth that much, but just I played this a lot when I was in junior high. Uh, it came with a computer. It was free, but I love the game so much. It was a lot of fun. Has anyone seen the new Sim City game at E3? It looks amazing. It's like full 3D. You can get up close to the roads and the highways and stuff. It looks really good. So I'm excited to try that game. Also at that same Salvation Army, I found a $15 bundle of a Nintendo. It comes with five controllers and power adapter also came with a game on the inside if you can't see it it's dr mario um i think this one is the american version because you can see it's red at the bottom there the call number all the ones in canada i think were gray i could be wrong about that but so uncle if you're watching this this one's yours buddy if you want it i'll um, we'll make sure it's working before you get it though okay and the reason i gave a shout out to my cousin daryl was actually my cousin daryl is a big shoe collector and I used to be a big shoe collector too back in the day. I spent all my money on shoes rather than paying tuition. I had a pair of Della Lowe's, uh, Nike Dunk SBs for people who don't know. And they were dead stock. I hadn't worn them out ever. I tried them on like once. And they were so beautiful and I hate to wear them outside. Like I'd feel like I'd totally destroy the shoe if I did. But I'm not a big shoe collector anymore. I sold off most of my stuff. And basically I sold these shoes to my cousin Daryl for more than I paid for him, but very fair to him. With that money, I was able to pay off this uh, Super Nintendo bundle I found at Valley Village. Basically, when I saw it, I couldn't believe it, 89 bucks. I didn't know why it was it 89 bucks, but it had four boxed games with it. Right here. Four boxed games came with it, and that was the biggest thing for me. Like, I was looking for a copy of Mario Kart and Donkey Kong boxes, and I found it there. It was awesome. Coolest thing was, I had my 30% off card full, so basically 90 bucks for all this stuff, minus 30% off. But I did let go of some awesome shoes. Anyways, also came with this bag here of Super Nintendo stuff. I actually haven't opened this one yet, because like, everything came with manuals in it. And I'm like a big sucker for manuals and completing things, like I was so happy. I have a bunch of Super Nintendo, well, I have two Super Nintendo boxes, and both of them are missing manuals. Pretty sure they're missing some manuals. And the Super Nintendo here came with a bunch of manuals. I haven't opened it up yet because I wanted to save it for you guys. But basically, here's the Super Nintendo deck. I don't know if you can see that. It says $89.99 on it. I haven't tested it out yet, but I hope it works. Like I said, I was happy because it came with these manuals. Comes with the uh, Nintendo Power stuff. Ad stuff. Oh, fucking tape. There you go, some more manual stuff, and, oh, what the hell, oh, wow, I don't know if you can see all of that, so in the back there it says how to hook up your Super Nintendo, and in the front there it says now you're playing with power, and it shows all the games that are available at that time, one of the best memories I have was when I was like 12, my parents bought me my first Super Nintendo, and it was the best thing ever, so if you're watching this, mom and dad, I love you guys. There's the receipt, $72.92 with taxes and everything. First thing it came with was a Super Game Boy. It's kind of upset though because I opened it up. And there's no Super Game Boy in there, freaking Valley Village. 
If you're gonna charge 90 bucks, make sure you check what's inside. Freaking copy of uh, Super Mario World. Also came with a copy of Tetris, which I have like four of these. Anyways, at least it came with the, uh, there's that thing there. It came with a uh, Mario instruction manual, which is cool because I don't have a Mario instruction manual. So, so now I'm going to be on the lookout for a Super Game Boy loose so I can put it in this box. My Super Nintendo, when my parents bought it for me, came with Donkey Kong Country. And it became like one of my favorite games of all time. Came with the manual inside. And there you go. Donkey Kong Country. I think I checked that on rarityguide.com and they said it was like 50 bucks for this one. So, Again, value in the price guide and what you'll get for it. Two, two totally different things. This one was actually one of my favorite things to find too. Uh, Super Mario Kart complete in box. And the cool thing about these, the boxes are in super nice condition. <laughs> it's always this guy again. There he is. Came with like a freaking beautiful copy of Super Mario Kart instruction manual. Looks really nice. And I lose other stuff. Ooh. I love these posters. There it is. Zelda. Link to the Past? Yep, yeah, Link to the Past. Beautiful. And there's the back. I love these sides too. These are awesome. Little ad posters for the Super Nintendo. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I showed that yet. Super Mario Kart cartridge. And last thing one, there was a copy of Super Mario All-Stars Complete in Box. Like, this box is friggin' beautiful. There you go. The game. Nice. Another poster. Oh, nice. Oh, join the club. I like this one. Play it loud. That's a cool poster. I gotta frame this stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this stuff. Hmm. Free Donkey Kong Country Player's Guide offer. What is that? Came with another poster. Oh, nice. Another Zelda poster. That's awesome. There it is. And very good condition uh, instruction manual for Mario All Stars. Anyways, that's it for me. Uh, pretty good weekend. Very happy with everything I picked up. So yeah, if you like what you see, please comment, uh, like, and subscribe. We'll hit you back. Uh, I think by the time I finish this video, we're at 241 subscribers. So thank you, everybody. That was awesome. I like wanted to hit 200 subscribers by the end of 2012. So yeah, really cool. Thanks, guys.